Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can create a beautiful quality checklist in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this attractive quality checklist. Here we have dates, four different products and their quality score. You can select pass or fail for any of the product in your quality check that product has passed, then you can select pass. If the product has failed in your quality check, then you can select fail. As soon as you will select pass or fail, it will be changed into icon automatically. And the quality score will be updated automatically and the total score also will be updated automatically. You can see here. So we will learn how we can create this beautiful quality checklist in this video. So friends, I have not used any VBA coding to create this beautiful quality checklist. So let's start. I'm going to add a new worksheet here. And first of all, I'll create the table. So I'll take here date. Then I will take product one. You can take your product name. I'm just taking as product one to product four. You can take more products also. Here I will take quality score. And then I will take dates here. So I'm just taking let's say first gen. Then I will take few dates here. Let's say I'm taking 15 dates, first gen to 15th gen. And here I'll take total. I'll resize the column. Let's say I'll take this size. Just select the table, change the alignment. First of all, I'll go to the view and remove the grid lines from here. I'll create the title of this checklist. So I'll select this range, go to the home and click on merge and center and just type your title here. I'm just taking as quality score checklist. Now I will format this. So I'll take the background color like this one and font color. I'll take white make this bold and little bit of bigger now for this header i'll take the background color as dark blue make font white and make it bold for the total i'll take the gray color this one and make it bold and similarly for quality score i'll give the same color and make it bold. now i'll select the entire range press ctrl a and then I'll press Alt O E to open the format cells and then I'll go to the border and I'll choose the color of the border as this one and then select this line, click on outline, click on inside and just click on OK. So we have this border available here. Now we will create the drop down here for pass and fail. So what I will do, I'll take a support here. I'll type 1 and then 0 here and for this just select and again press alt o e to open the format cells then go to the number and then go to the custom and here we will type our custom formatting so friends for custom formatting first we take positive number then negative number then zero and at the last we take text and everything should be separated by semicolon so for the positive number i'll take here pass because in place of one i want to display pass then i'll take for the negative number i'll type here semicolon we don't have the negative number so i'll type another semicolon i want to put for zero for zero i'll take here fail And just click on OK. Now you can see this is one you can see in formula bar, but it is displaying as pass. This is zero and it is displaying as fail. The similar number formatting we will do here in this range and just press Alt OE. Then go to the custom formatting and first we will take pass, then two semicolon and fail. I'll create another video on the custom formatting and just click on OK. If I will type here 1, that automatically will display as pass. If I will type 0, then it will be fail. 
even if i will type 5 then it will be pass because for all positive number it will display as pass just remove this now we will select this range and we will open the data validation from data and then we'll go to the data validation this one or you can press alt dl also the data validation window is open just select here list and then we will give this range and click on ok now you can see the pass and fail is available in our list however it is not the exact pass and fail it is 0 and 1 you can see in formula bar here ok so what we will do now we will put some conditional formatting here so just select this range again and go to the home and conditional formatting new rule then just go to the format style and select here icon set and the icon we will choose this one and here in type we will choose as number and we will take only greater than zero then it will take this right sign otherwise here we will take equal to or greater than zero and then number here then it will take the this one which is red cross and just click on ok now if i will select pass then you can see correct symbol is available if i will select fail then this cross symbol is available but the text is displaying with the symbols so we have to remove the text we want to display only symbols so just press alt od to open the rule manager and just select this rule go to the edit and here you can see this so icon only option is available just check this and click on ok now select any of the option right now we will put the formula to calculate the quality score the formula will be simple it will be average of this range and just press enter now it is displaying as fail so just change the format as percentage not the custom so take the percentage from here and just fill this down but if there is nothing available here it will give you this divide error so what we will do we'll put here if error and then we'll take if it is error then it will so blank and now fill this down for the last one in place of this range we will take the entire range because it will be the final total this one now here we will put again if error then average and we will take this time average of this product and just close this and if it is a error then it will so blank just close this and just fill the same formula here and convert it into percentage select this column click here and just ignore error now if you will select let's say pass then it will show 100% because we have only one pass if we will select one fail then it will be 50% because one pass and one fail if I will select again pass then it will be 67% because two pass and one fail if i will select again pass then it will be 75 percent because three pass and one fail all right so that is how you can create this beautiful quality score checklist it is more eye-catching rather than creating the simple checklist you can create this one it can be used in other purposes also not only for the quality checklist you can create the similar in your to-do list or any other list I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.